What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sarth, and with the release of AQ coming out on almost all servers, and over time it's just rolling out on all servers, there is a lot of questions about if we need to change up our talents as rogues. So to min-max as best we can, we do want to utilize the best talents possible for moving into the raid. So today I'm going to break down not only the talents and how things change with us getting into AQ, but also just kind of a lot of different talent trees for rogues. So I want to break down pretty much every talent tree and why you kind of choose some of the things you do over others. As always, if you like the video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps out a ton and let's dive right into it. Okay, so the big thing, the biggest question is combat daggers, combat dagger spec and how it's going to translate into AQ. And I think before I really dive too deep into the spec itself, even with the release of AQ and talking to a lot of rogues that have been in there so far, and I'll actually be doing it today at 8 a.m. So literally an hour after this video releases, we will be doing it right away. But the question is, how is Combat Daggers actually performing in AQ? And really, it's kind of what we foresaw. I did make a video about daggers versus swords, and I did talk a lot about it with AQ, but the biggest issue or struggle you're seeing as a Combat Dagger spec is going to be positioning. There's a lot of times where you're struggling to position correctly to get backstabs off on global, to get cleave off with blade flurry. So positioning can be a lot harder as combat daggers in this next raid, as well as in Nax, unless your guild is extremely clean and the tanks are extremely well coordinated and everything's tanked on top of each other. Like Progress's run, one of their combat dagger rogues actually did exactly pretty much as much damage as their best sword rogue and more than most of the other rogues. So you can do really, really well with this before you even get the new weapons. So as combat daggers, this is the standard spec for the most part. You can choose between improved gouge or lightning reflexes. It doesn't really matter too much. You get improved sinister strike and then improved backstab as always. Precision, the 5% extra hit. Here's another just personal preference thing for improved sprint. I like improved sprint over endurance because it does help a lot in PvP and you can stay this PvE spec and do great in PvP. 1v1s or even more, you can pretty much destroy almost anyone. Then you obviously have dual wield specialization and dagger spec. Very simple and very standard. Blade Flurry, Weapon Expertise, two points into Aggression, and then Adrenaline Rush. On the sides, we have obviously Opportunity, five points here. Some people actually swap this out for one extra point in Lethality, and this is gonna be a DPS loss on average, but if you're trying to get like a crazy parse on a couple shorter fights, or go for more of that RNG, uh, this actually isn't like too much of a hit but you can kind of have a little personal preference. The best is to go with opportunity, and then you go into malice, murder, improved slice and dice, relentless strikes, and lethality. So the real thing that's put into question with AQ coming out is gonna be the two points into murder. What murder does is increases all of your damage against humanoids, giants, beasts, and dragonkin by 2%. So this was very useful in BWL. It is a very, very strong talent. It's also just useful in general because a lot of the things you fight fall under this tree of Humanoids, Giants, Beasts, and Dragonkin. But moving into AQ, this isn't really the case. So you don't actually get all of the usefulness out of these talents as you would spending the talents elsewhere. And some people have been speculating if you would go into Remorseless Attacks, which would give you an extra 40% crit on your first attack. But this is only useful on Trash, and it only actually pertains to if you get the Killing Blow. So you don't want to go into this. Ruthlessness. Ruthlessness will give you a 40% chance to add a combo point to your target after a finishing move. So the think here is it adds a little bit more RNG and if you're spamming your finishing moves like eviscerate or slice and dice then you might accidentally press it twice so you might actually waste that combo point and just screw yourself but 
on average, or if you're really anticipating that, you're gonna get used to having that extra combo point every now and then. So this is a good pick to move your two points from murder into. So if I go down to my AQ dagger spec, everything else is the exact same, except for moving two points from murder into ruthlessness. Now, the reason why we don't go into improved eviscerate is because as a dagger rogue in raid situations, almost every fight or boss, if you have your adrenaline rush, renatakis, or this will tee up, you will usually get just one eviscerate off. Although this does slightly change because you can get more RNG with the extra additional energy you get from the dark mantle set, which you all should probably be using, with the Dark Mantle and with AQ in general, Phase 5, you are getting a lot more RNG because you have the energy procs from Dark Mantle and you also would have the extra combo point every now and then from Ruthlessness. But the safest bet is to go into Ruthlessness. And that's it, guys. Honestly, that's pretty much like the gist of this video, like the biggest topic I wanted to talk about. But I do want to break down all of the other actual specs for rogues, so if you want to see all of the other specs that I have, just stick around for a second. But the next one is obviously the combat sword spec, which I've talked about multiple times in other videos. And the big thing about combat sword spec that is different than your phase one combat sword spec was obviously getting the improved backstab. So you were just taking away points and putting them into improved backstab. These were points that weren't giving you any DPS either way. They were either in endurance, lightning reflexes, or deflection. So you were just moving those into improved backstab. So it's just very useful for you. And also as combat swords, you can have murder and moving into AQ, you could potentially move the points out of murder into improved eviscerate, although this would be a slight DPS increase for AQ, but you do take the DPS hit from actual BWL and you're still gonna be doing BWL. So that's like kind of where the choice is. Also with people moving their points out of murder into ruthlessness, if you're doing a lot of BWL as well, Murder, actually, it says 2%, but on The Sims, it actually comes out to be almost 2.5% of your overall damage by moving Murder into Ruthlessness, the two points out, even as combat daggers. So you will slightly do more damage in AQ, but slightly less damage in BWL. There's no real perfect fix here because both of these are damage dealing talents. And instead of for BWL where you moved points into improved backstab as a sword spec, you don't really have a viable option that doesn't give you any sort of hit for your overall DPS outside of that specific raid. The one thing I do want to talk about about combat swords is that if you are human, you can actually put only one point into weapon expertise because that's all you need really and you could go into improved eviscerate. So you could even get all three points into Improved Eviscerate if you move out of Murder and move it into Improved Eviscerate. So that's kind of up to you guys, depending on what your focus is. Is it more of AQ or is it more of overall damage with BWL and if your raid is still doing MC because you need more Thunder Furies and stuff like that. Outside of raid specs, I am gonna quickly talk about some of these specs I use as well. So we'll go into PvP specs in a second. First is going to be the spec I use to farm during my Scarab Lord quest. So it's just a standard farm spec and it is a repost farm spec. You actually will notice a lot of damage you get from repost and it's very useful. I do not have a main hand sword, so I use fist weapons with Claw of the Black Drake. So if you are going any of the other specs like fist web or maces, you just take actually five points out of sword specialization and put them into that specialization. An interesting thing though, for mace specialization, you actually get an increase to your mace skill here. So again, you could take things out of weapon expertise, but for my farming spec that I was out in Silithus farming, you do want Repost. Repost is incredible for farming specs. The big hit you take is not getting improved sprint, so you do feel a little gimped in PvP situations, but you do get Repost here, and it is really, really powerful when you're farming. And then as you go into the assassination tree, 
these actual two points are something you could kind of mix around. Are you going to eviscerate more? Are you going to use ruthlessness more or murder? It's kind of a personal preference. I went with remorseless attacks because as you kill something, you just instantly move on if you have a healer and start attacking the next mob and having an extra 40% crit on that first attack is pretty useful. And that's the spec I used for farming the Scareblord grind, and you guys will now see me on stream running around on that Scareblord mount or the Karaji battle tank, so I'm super stoked for that. And then I'm actually going to show you guys really fast my favorite PvP spec as well as the Hemo PvP spec, the standard Hemo PvP spec. So my favorite PvP spec is Imp Sprint PvP. It's a dagger spec. And the benefits you get here from Imp Sprint is really to get out of any CC, and you also get prep. So prep is pretty incredible, honestly, having two of every cooldown is insane. So here I go, five points into opportunity, two into elusiveness, four into camouflage. I guess you could kind of switch elusiveness with one more into camouflage. Your actual stealth effectiveness, having one out of it isn't really that big of a deal. Initiative. Improved Ambush because ambushing is so much fun when you're this spec and it's incredible against mages and 1v1s. Improved Sap is one of the best things you could ever have in PvP. And then Preparation and Dirty Deeds. Then I move in with Improved Backstab, obviously Improved Gouge because the CC is super useful. Precision, you don't need that much hit as PvP spec and improved sprint. And then I move in with malice, ruthlessness, murder, lethality, and relentless strikes. So that is my improved sprint spec for PvP daggers. And then the Hemo spec just right here is pretty simple. I'm gonna have all of these specs in the description. So I'm not even really gonna talk about it much, but you get cold blood, Hemo, and prep. So that is it guys. Those are the specs I use as a rogue in general, moving into AQ and the reasoning behind some of these swaps you're gonna use in your spec moving into AQ and how to optimize. It'll be interesting to see how the actual improved eviscerate possibly does come out if you are using the full tier 2.5 set, so the five piece from the Death Dealers set from the raid, but you still probably are gonna be using your Dark Mantle, so it just depends on what you're gonna use, and then you can decide between improved eviscerate and ruthlessness. So there you have it guys, thank you guys all for tuning in, I hope I helped you with some of your specs and talents moving forward as phase 5 has just dropped and with this release. I will be tracking a lot of things with Improved Eviscerate versus Ruthlessness, so if you want to keep an update there, make sure to follow me on Twitch, I'll be doing even tests live, so yeah, again, follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash sarth. My streaming schedule is going to be changing soon, so I'll let you guys know. Hopefully, I'll be streaming every day very shortly. And as well, feel free to join the Discord if you have any questions. You can hit me up and leave a comment of any of the guides or videos you want me to do. Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, if you liked it, please like and subscribe, and I will catch you all on the next one.